Hello, and once again, welcome to Peter's Marine Service. I'm your host, Ted, and today I am at the helm of a 2006 Sea Ray 260 Sundancer. This 28-foot boat is perfect for a weekend away. It can still be trailered by, by many vehicles, but it's a nice boat to have in the water to have maybe a weekend overnight or maybe a longer trip. I can't wait to show you the things that it has to offer inside because the cockpit is really, really spacious, and there's a lot of nice features in the cabin as well. Uh, this particular boat was purchased here new, and uh, we have it back here for, uh, for resale. And I'm really excited about this boat because it is a fantastic model in the Sea Ray lineup. First of all, toward the back here, as I mentioned, the boat is a 28-foot boat and overall. 26 feet to the transom, plus we have this large swim platform here on the back also, which adds to the extra length. A couple of nice features here are the cleats that are very accessible here. Being in the back, you can easily spring line off both sides or go forward and back. Nice larger swim platform here on the back too also means that you can easily stand all the way at the side of the boat and easily step off if you are docking or what have you. The nice feature about this boat here is all your shore power cord you can see goes right into the back of the boat. No more hanging it over the side or anything like that. Very neatly tucks into the back of the boat and it doesn't interfere with your swim platform either. In the back here also is your trunk space which allows you to hook up all your shore power, city water, there's even a spigot here on the back also. Plenty of room to put extra fenders, dock lines, things like that. Very nice place. We call it a trunk and that's exactly what you can use it for. All the stuff that you want to take along but not bring up inside the boat. Another nice feature here on this one is a hot and cold transom shower featured right back here. And what that means is that when you are away from the dock and you're floating out somewhere and you want to hose yourself off with the fresh water supply in the boat, you have hot water as well as the uh, traditional cold water so you can be comfortable out on the lake or in the bay. Nice big door here also. If you have children that are boating with you, this nice solid door will easily keep them aboard the boat. But yet, when it's open, it latches in place so it doesn't flop around. But very one level, very easy to walk up inside the cockpit of the boat. What I enjoy most, most about this boat is it has so much cockpit space. A couple of families could easily enjoy a day out on the water in this boat. Notice how much room we have in seating that goes all the way around the back of the boat here. Plus, we also have a port side lounger seat also, which you can easily sit three people there as well. So, you can really take eight people aboard this boat and be comfortable out on the water. If you notice here, give you an idea of some space that we have. Plenty of room here. Or, if you're hanging out, want to read a book or Maybe you're pulling tubers or skiers. You can do that in this size boat. You can easily sit here to spot as well. Some nice features are the Corian countertop for the wet bar up here in the cockpit. Cup holders around, but you can easily you know, wash your hands or things like that right here at this sink. Plus, cooler stores down inside here. Neatly out of the way. Plenty of storage aboard this boat also in the cockpit. You have room inside here. Let's face it, you, you don't realize how many things you can take along. Extra dock lines, uh, maybe a, a flare kit, first aid kit, things like that. Easily can stow away, but yet be easily accessible also. And these seats also come out, which allow us to have some extra steps to step up and out over the side of the boat. If you dock docking somewhere on the starboard side, port side features the same step on that side as well. More storage underneath the back bench seat. Here I see there is a flare kit aboard also, but plenty of room to put maybe some extra uh, life jackets and things. Plenty of room back here for those things as well. Up at the helm, this is what's nice, plenty of room. Look how much space that I have here behind the steering wheel of the boat. Very easy to, uh, to look, I can see the bow of the boat, I can see the back of the boat for docking, this is really a dream. Or if I'm just cruising, I can sit up tall here, look up high up over the windshield, and be comfortable with my feet here too. But the seat does drop down, and it makes it comfortable. I can see through the windshield. Lots of glass. Very important if you're caught in inclement weather. You have all your canvas up, everything is tucked away. It's much easier to look through glass than it is through the eyes and glass in a storm. So this way now you can easily see 
many boats don't have it up this high in a boat this size. Tilt steering wheel for comfort. All your gauges up high, easy to read. Windshield wiper, compass right in front of you here. And again, this is an 06, so a couple things we'll talk about is condition regarding the vinyl, the carpet, the dashboard that's here also. There, everything looks clean, everything is in good shape here. So it uh, hardly looks used. In fact, there's about 100 hours on the engine, so really not much time on it at all. This particular boat features a VHF radio located right here with a large speaker also, so it's very easy to hear when you're underway. Here we have the Navman 5500 chart plotter GPS that's located right here. Again, easy to read while you're navigating. Remote control for the stereo is located here as well, plus trim tabs and uh, um, all your switches for your lights and, and what have you. A nice feature here, with, as with most sea rays of this size, the steps to go up onto the deck are really nice because you have these nice steps that's easy to hop up and through the windshield of the boat. And once up on the deck, you have a nice textured surface, easy to walk up here. This boat features an anchor chute with hawse pipe and a plow anchor. We have a stainless steel anchor chute here, and your hawse pipe is stainless steel as well. Anchor locker up here for all your, your line as well. Everything's very easily accessible. Hopping back through the windshield again with the nice big windshield which is easy to operate. Notice I did that with one hand. And you can step right back down inside the boat. Nice large steps for doing that. Very easy to step down inside the cockpit here, into the cabin rather. And you can get an idea of the height. Once we're in here, we have a lot of room inside the boat. Again, uh, we call it a 260. There's a lot of space inside here. Your, your V berth goes all the way around. There's a nice table that stows underneath here. I have pictures of that online for you to see when it's in place. But uh, four people can easily sleep inside the boat. Two in the V berth, two in the mid cabin. And I'll show you that also. For time's sake, I'm not going to show you, but the table comes out, stores here, and there are cushions that fill in place. So easily you can kind of get an idea. Two people can easily be comfortable for overnighting inside here. Your hatch, very easily accessible right here. Plus you also have this nice feature. This is, this is really neat. Your screen is located in a kind of a roll-up type of a feature. And a shade to keep the sun out in the morning. If you take a look at the, the condition of everything here, it, it practically looks new inside the cabin. Uh, plenty of storage up here to put various things uh, up on the top and on, on this level as well. Storage for the seats. You can either access it from this side, or if you have your gear bags on top, you can easily access the same storage through these compartments down here. 